where does my story begin? Well, it started out with a nice fellow who took me all around the snowy mountains of Montana and Wyoming. We had some good times, but then he got a new job. We didn't spend as much time together after that. One day, I found myself in a park lot in the middle of nowhere at the end of a long summer break. I had no idea what we were doing there. And then she arrived. She walked up, ponytail swinging, all smiley and nervous. It took a second for me to realize what she was excited about. Me. I'll admit, she was a novice, ill-versed in my language, and she didn't seem at all mechanical. But her eagerness, well, it won me over. As we skidded off down the road, I knew I was in for quite a ride. My name's Snow Pony. That's what she calls me anyway. Her name is Amy, and we've been together for a couple years now. I think she had some fantasies about being a rodeo queen or something, hence that pony name. To my knowledge, she has never owned a horse, but she sure seems like my 165 horse is just fine. Uh, I know one thing for sure. Amy's never had a snow machine before me. The first year, I could feel how hesitant she was when we'd go out together. She made quite a few rookie mistakes, and I'll admit, <laughs> I'd buck her off from time to time, but she never gave up that, Amy. Sure was determined. I can't say I've ever seen anyone cry and smile at the same time. That woman sure can multitask. <laughs> time for us to hit the road. First stop, one of her favorites and mine too, Wyoming. Out there's Howie. Howie's more patient than a turtle. He was one of the first people to join Amy and me in the mountains. No, 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 no. Ouch. No. Damn it. Oh, my whole body's shaking. Oh God. Oh. This one will be fun because it's not it's quick. Oh. He knows these peaks intimately and loves sharing them. He's been teaching Amy a lot. He's like her sled guru. You should hear him laugh when he pulls up and sees some of the pickles Amy's gotten us into. You know, he's really good about pushing her. Just the right amount. Todd's here sometimes too. He's the one who introduced Howie to Amy. Mighty fine scare, it seems. Anyway, we'll get back to him a little later on. somewhere out there swooshing around on them hills on their skis. I can hear their yips and yallers. Sometimes I can even see their tracks. It's fun for me. Plus, I get a little rest in between all the ruckus.
Wyoming is where Amy first learned to trust me, where our bond really grew. It's a bit cold around here, but I sure love the feeling she and I share in this wild place, where we have nothing to do but play and get lost in the mountains. Back on the road again, and headed north this time. A place they call Revelstoke. Amy loves it up here, and I must say, the mountains are big and downright stunning. We're meeting up with the girls, as Amy calls them, Lexi and McKenna. I'm pretty sure these fireballs and their snow machines are the reason Amy saddled up with me. Their rigs look a little bit different than we do. Doesn't seem to bother Amy. I get the sense she's just happy to be out here with her friends in these rugged mountains. Chasing down a dream she seems to have had for a long, long time. That McKenna's tough as duct tape. She may seem quiet, but she's, she is mighty knowledgeable, too. Amy admires her deeply. They got a good thing going, those two. Lots back and forth and a silly amount of laughing. She's not afraid to tell Amy to fuck the heck up when she needs to. Lexi, hmm, how do I put this? She is the wild one. Here as I can tell, she charges and never quits. Not sure I ever met someone with the exact strain of gall and fearlessness. I think Amy loves that about Lex. These are some long days out in the mountains with this hardy crew. I know I sure do get tired, but quit, these tough cookies won't. Now when there's still skiing and fresh snow left to be had. Having fun. If I do say so myself, looks like one hell of a friendship. It's a bitch. It's a bitch.
home. You know, I never thought I'd end up in California, but I quite like it here. These Sierra Nevada mountains sure are beautiful. The terrain is playful and vast, and the views? That beauty of a lake never gets old. Amy is truly at home here. She grew up in these mountains and something just seems at ease when she's here. Now, on to Todd. He sure seems special, Amy. She's got those damn stars in her eyes when she looks at him. <laughs> I can see why Amy loves being in the mountains with this guy. He's impressive, no doubt. But he's calm, too. Methodical and inspired. He has this effortless flow when he moves through the terrain. Yep, they tiff all right sometimes, but they always worked it out. Watching the sunset with these two sure feels nice. Me? Well, I'm just happy to be along for the ride. Any time spent with Amy is fine by me. You know, I'd say she's even improved a bit. Now, I know I'm just a tool, a machine that helps her get further into the mountains to do what she does best. But it feels like a partnership. Like I'm needed. Like I'm loved. I'm her snow pony, and she's my mountain rodeo queen. I can't wait to see where we go next. <laughs> 